in the Bank of International, International Settlements. Uh, I had lunch there with the then uh, Secretary General uh, of the Bank of International Settlements, and he uh, said, Bernard, I read your book on Latin America. What are you doing in a central bank? Nobody had asked me that question while I was in Belgium. But I told them the truth. I said, I am in the central bank because I thought it was the appropriate place to find out whether it's possible to do something about the system. And he said, but Bernard, you don't understand. We exist, the Bank of International Settlements, every central bank in the world exists. The IMF and the World Bank only exist for one purpose, to keep the system going exactly as it is, not to improve it. That sank to me, and I suddenly understood why and any one of the proposals I had been making during my period at the central bank of anything that would be out of the box was immediately blocked. So there is truth to this. And the truth is, in fact, from a, view, from a banking viewpoint, it is true, it cannot be improved, right? Just imagine that Microsoft has uh, the government enforcing the monopoly for Microsoft. I mean, can you dream better? And the government itself will buy the services from you. In other words, not only the government doesn't use the priorities that it has, but it actually enforces the monopoly. So that's what happens. I returned to Brussels and resigned. 